this rather old and battered uh, spanner used to belong to my late father. As you can see it's quite an interesting design and it got me wondering if I could uh, find any other interesting old spanners out there. And it wasn't long before I came up with these two little fellows here. Um, today though we're going to be taking a look at this fellow. One of my viewers did actually suggest that I review a Barco adjustable wrench like this one and uh, as I say you know looking around to see what I could find I came up with this. This is a model 31 as you can see it's got an interesting um, idea on the end here I think this is probably to do with um, like doing nuts up in fact it's very similar to uh, this more modern spanner that you've probably seen on my channel already guys uh, and the other end is a standard adjustable but this one is uh, rather stiff it doesn't want to work to be honest with you it just goes a little bit it opens a little bit and closes a little bit but it's very very stiff um, when I looked at it on because I purchased it from eBay when I looked at it on eBay I noticed there were no pictures of it with the jaws closed so I uh, I thought to myself even then I uh, this is going to have a stiff jaw on it otherwise they would have shown it in different positions I would have thought that's what I would have done anyway anyway as you can see it's a uh, quite oldish by the looks of things I don't think it's rusty as such it's just uh, very grubby and it's a little bit um, yeah, a little bit of grease and dirt all over it and as I say the uh, jaws don't work but um, what we'll have to do is uh, take it down to the workshop guys and see if we can't fix it okay so here we are down in the workshop again guys here's the old uh, barco uh, the first thing we're going to have to sort out is uh, this, these stiff jaws. And what we can do with this is, if you look just here at the bottom of the um, spanner, you'll see there's a little hole. And in there, there's like a little grub screw. This one's uh, rather clogged up with a load of rubbish, so I'll have to get the uh, rubbish out of it first. Like so. There we go, clear that out. Hopefully you can see it all flying out there. Right, <clears throat> let's see if we can't get the grub screw out. Yeah, see so here it comes. Nearly got it out. And there we go guys, <clears throat> there's the little pin that holds the little uh, roller in here. So now what we should be able to do is, move that carefully aside, we should be able to push out the roller, like so, and there we go, there's a little spring just came out with it, what the looks of things. Okay, so here we can see the shaft, the little drive drum, and the little spring that popped out as well, that I didn't even know was in there. So the next thing we'll have to do is try to get the lower jaw out Will it slide about? Let's have a look. It doesn't particularly want to... Oh, it does want to slide a little bit. Not a lot though, it's very stiff. Can we get him out? Oh, blimey. Ugh. Yes, it's really stiff in there. Blimey. Cool, yeah. That is exceptionally stiff. Exceptionally stiff. Really is. <coughs> Blimey. <coughs> Maybe we should try a little bit of plus gas in there. See if that will shift it. I also managed to get it on my camera as well, guys. Look. Just here and a bit there as well. Right in. Have we freed it up any? Still not coming out, guys. Oh, here we go. That's got it started anyway. Can we get it all the way out, is the question. Is it going to come out all the way? We certainly freed it up.
Okay, so I'm going to give it a very, very gentle tap with this little hammer here, guys. As you can see, it's easing it out there. We'll soon have it out, I think. And then we can clean it up properly then. There we go. Brilliant. Okay then, so here we have the spanner in all its different bits. So now we can begin the cleanup process. I think we'll start by uh, cleaning the jaw up a little bit, getting all the plus gas off of it. You see, you can see it's really filthy. It's black. So whether it's uh, diesel diesel fumes or just a bit of old grease in there, diesel soot grease, I don't know, but it's certainly uh, black as you're at in there, guys. Okay, get the uh, plus gas, or at least as much of it as we can, out of the uh, the main body as well. Try and. Um, Get a bit in there with a the screwdriver, I think. Yeah, there we go. This should uh, bring out some some of the filth. Yes, and it has done too. Look at that. Disgusting. In an attempt to uh, clean out this part of the uh, main body, I'm going to just gently soak some cloth in some uh, plus gas here, very carefully, so it doesn't go all over the place again. And then we'll just push it through with a screwdriver. There we go. Just brought out some dirt with it, push it back the other way. Give it a go. There we go. Hopefully we'll get it through. Right then. <clears throat> Let's try the, uh, where's the jaw? Get the jaw back in there, hopefully. Oh yeah. It's a bit rough, because it's dry as a bone in there, but hopefully we should be able to get the jaw right out as well. Good. Right, I'm going to get this tiny wire brush on the sliding jaw here so we can flick out any rubbish we don't want on there now I can see some bits flying off already and then we'll just try in the, the little teeth in there look guys so we get the uh, wire brush going in the little teeth a bit better. Let's try and get the little wire brush inside the, um, the main frame here. So we can flush out some more stuff. Try the jaws in again. Oh yeah. There we go. Just hangs up a bit just here guys on the way out. It's feeling a lot nicer. I think what we're gonna have to do is get some, um, you know, lubrication going on this little fellow, I think. Well, I'm just gonna give the uh, body a wipe over with some white spirits here. You can see some of the dirt coming off of it straight away, guys. Look at that. It's filthy, is basically what it is. Look at that. There's some uh, dirt and stuff in these little jaws here, so I'll get my little wire brush in there. Hopefully, it'll fit in there. Let's see if we can't clean those teeth out.
Right. I think my little um, wire brush has got covered in uh, plus gas and grease now, to be honest with you. Right, and I think what I'm going to do now is give all of the parts a soaking in uh, distilled malt vinegar. If we can get the top off of it. There we go. Pour it in. This might clean it up, might not. We'll have to come back in a few hours and find out. Whilst researching the company Barco, I came across this uh, rather interesting and related document about the spanner. If you'd like a copy, please uh, get in contact with me via my Instagram page and I'll be happy to send you a copy. It was back in 1862 that Goran Frederick Goranson, and I've probably said that entirely wrong, founded Hogbo Stahl and Germworks AB in Sweden to produce high quality steel, pioneering the Bessemer process. And uh, in 1886, Goran used the uh, high quality steel, uh, which he used to make fish hooks with, uh, to begin production of his saw blades. Uh, and they still carry the fish hook trademark to this day. In 1891, Johann Petter Johansson patented the first adjustable spanner, and this particular one looks exactly like my late father's um, old spanner. Moving forward a few years, it was in 1982 that Barco presented the world with the first ergonomic screwdriver handles. Okay, let's see what they're like after a few hours in vinegar. Probably hasn't made a great deal of difference. We'll mop them up and find out. And the muck's still coming off, guys. Let's give it a go with this metal polish, shall we? if that makes any difference. Okay then, so that's it all nicely cleaned up. It looks a lot better than it did when it came in. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, try and reassemble it. Let's get that back in there. Oh, that runs a lot better, guys. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what we'll do is we'll just um, get a bit of a uh, light oil onto the moving parts. Three in one oil was my father's favourite. He, he always had a can of three in, oil, three in one oil in the garage, as I remember. Yes, yeah, definitely better that is. It's a lot better. Then we have this little spring and the little adjuster barrel here. Let's pop them back together again. Let's just push the little barrel in again from the other side. Oh, if I can get the spring to go in properly, like so, there we go. Now then, we'll just put a drop of uh, three in one on the little shaft here. It's probably a bit much, but we won't worry about it too much. Can we line it up? Yes, we can. Good.
and there we go. Drop three in one oil in there. Does it work now, guys? Yes, it does. Look at that. Perfect. Runs absolutely perfectly now. Fantastic. Alrighty then, guys. Look how well the spanner came up after all that uh, hard work. It's beautiful. And I say, it actually works now. It's really quite smooth. Now we've cleaned it up. Perfect. I think I'm getting covered in oil though, guys. But yes, it works a treat now. Yeah, getting a bit grubby again. Covered in the oil from the... Um, what did I put in here? So, up next then, we'll have to do a proper review on it and see how well it actually works, guys. Alrighty then. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, renovation video. Um, I found it quite enjoyable, actually. It's brought this thing up a treat. It's like brand new almost. I mean, there are a few little bits of wear and tear on it, but, you know, for its age, I suppose there's going to be. Alright then, guys, um, if you've got any questions or comments on the video review, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel especially if you've enjoyed this uh, sort of if you enjoy this sort of review I can do more of them in the future I do actually have another uh, vintage spanner this old fast nut spanner um, which I purchased off of uh, eBay as well um, and I shall be uh, doing another renovation and cleaning this one all up and then we'll be reviewing this one too guys as well as subscribing and don't forget to ring the little bell you can also uh, share it with your friends and you can click a like if you enjoyed it too, guys. You can also follow me on Instagram and Google+. You can help the channel by subscribing to me on my Patreon page. And you can also help the channel by purchasing from Gearbest too. If there's anything you like on Gearbest, whatever it is, use my special link down below to purchase it and I'll get a little bit of a commission, which I plough straight back into the channel to buy other interesting bits of kit you guys might be interested in. As I say, this one's come up really nicely from what it was like. It's nice and smooth and quite nice to, to actually, quite nice to handle it now, guys. It was horrible before, it was a bit uh, skanky, I must admit. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Um, I hope you'll pop back again in the near future, especially when I do a review for this thing here. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you then, guys. Laters! Oh.